Today we have a lot to get into involving Jimin and some threats. I want to get into Jimin's reaction to those and then Jimin's female dancer for Like Crazy was seen to be attacked by jealous fans. And then we have Jimin treating his dancer with love. So hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go Rabbids Dumplings, hey Spilling Mug Merch, and let's go. There's been a lot of stories on Jimin and what he has been up to. Of course, with the solo stuff being promoted and maybe even a tour, we don't know yet, we have been able to see Jimin in his true colors. It's extremely to see someone's true colors when they are happy and not stressed. While of course Jimin is very excited to make music and put it out, I am sure he is also very stressed at the limited amount of hours he has to sleep, limited hours to relax, and so during these times, you can imagine who they are as a person as the person gets heightened. If they are an angry person, you'll see them a bit more angry and so forth. And for this reason, I have never held it against celebrities when they act up on set. Of course, to throw coffee at your assistant or things like that, completely unacceptable, no excuse. But not necessarily remembering please and thank you or saying things that could be interpreted as rude or even just having a breakdown on set, I can empathize with that. However, what was interesting is we got to see Jimin's true colors. So what happened and what is the tea? Jimin was invited to perform at music Bank. This is a Korean show and Jimin is expected to do a performance for Like Crazy. He did a limited audience recording so only a select few people were allowed on that set to watch the pre-recording and it was not meant to be live. Of course many people were wondering and so curious about what the performance will be and many people were so jealous of the select few audience that were allowed there. So the internet began asking what went down over there and if there was any cute tea. I want to make my disclaimer that of course there is no hard evidence to prove the story I'm about to talk about that has gone viral, so take it with a grain of salt. However, I am inclined to believe this story because it sounds like Jim, and it's a cute one. An audience member reported that while dancing, one of the backup dancers bumped into the camera and moved the camera or something. Of course, they had to stop recording for a bit to check the camera and do what they call reset, which is bring everything and everyone to their mark and then start over. If it's supposed to appear like a live performance, they may want the footage to be all in one take and so if someone got so near the camera and bumped into it they can't really use that footage. So anyway this dancer made a mistake and apparently you could tell that the dancer was extremely flustered and really upset. When you're an artist the paycheck is not the goal here. It rarely ever is. The goal is to create something beautiful and do it correctly. You also are probably a big fan of Jimin and you don't want to let him down. There's also so many other dancers on set you are making them redo everything. And and at the least, one of the dancers could possibly have felt like they really killed the take and did amazing only for that take to never be used because the other dancer messed up. So dancers, actors, they know all this and of course they get frustrated. But if you're a team player, then you expect this to happen and you roll with it. The dancer kept apologizing to Jimin and Jimin was so kind to the dancer to pat the dancer on the back to tell the dancer everything was okay. And even joked that it's all right because then Jimin can spend more time with the limited audience that is there. The audience even chimed in to say that everything was fine and for the dancer to keep their head high. And of course this is so sweet. There's literally no reason at that point to yell at the dancer. And actually zooming out, if you see someone already feeling bad for a mistake they made, there is literally no point in drilling down on them and trying to make them feel worse. They know what they did. Jimin has spent all of his career and a big chunk of his life performing with other members and not everyone in BTS is as good of a dancer as Jimin is. So mess ups probably happen a lot and Jimin is used to that. Jimin probably had to deal with how hard Jungkook would be on himself and when he messed up, things like that. Always be kind to the people you work with, especially in entertainment. You never know when your time is up and money is not the incentive for a lot of these people that work in the industry. If they just don't enjoy working with you and if you're not as famous anymore, they have literally no reason to work with you unless they like you. They can make money elsewhere and any dancer watching, you know, you don't get rich being a backup dancer or dancing for any singer. There seems to be a bit of a problem lately with dancers and not the dancers themselves but external issues. I want to get into a bit more later but things like threats and attacks against Jimin and Jimin's dancers are pretty crazy. I think we like to think that the boys don't know what goes on and it's nice to think that because the attacks that K-pop stars get are nowhere near the attacks that American celebrities get. The audience is just simply different and if you're someone threatening to leak 
Justin Bieber's personal information, tweets and comments like that simply don't go as far as you think and don't go viral. It doesn't become big enough where it gets on the news and it's just simply because the American audience just doesn't care about showing up at Justin Bieber's doorstep. But back to Jimin, we like to think that Jimin has not heard of all the craziness surrounding him and the people that want him to die. Now a little context here, back in 2018, Jimin was in Texas. I don't remember why, but it was likely a BTS promotion thing. Some users claimed that they were going to hurt Jimin and kill him while he was in Texas. This of course is not taken lightly, and especially in Texas, these things are not taken lightly. The police department was notified and both Big Hit and the police department said that they will be on high alert. Of course, Jimin had also received similar threats, I don't know from the same person or not, back in 2017. A user tweeted out graphic comments alongside pictures of guns. Around this time, BTS was to appear at the Billboard Awards, which is going to be a historic moment, so I can only imagine this began something that would be a bit scary to all the boys, and especially Jimin. For the award show, Jimin did a press conference and mentioned his feelings towards the threats. He allegedly said, and I quote, I was shocked to hear about another death threat, the second death threat since last year. However, I was more worried for the fans than myself. This was implying that he was more scared about the safety of anyone showing up rather than his own safety. And I think this is something that the fans don't know about or wasn't as big. People always talk about how they hope Jimin doesn't know, but it seems like he is very much aware of what is said about him online and a lot of the hate that he does receive. I think that's crazy. You have to commend how brave he is to receive threats like this, but still continue to pursue your career and continue to even make solo music where you're out there by yourself, it's brave. Now flash forward to now, Jimin was not receiving threats directly, but interestingly enough, someone close to him actually did. People were wondering if he knew, and chances are he did if he was aware of the previous threats. So what happened? Well, this one is interesting. Jimin recently did his performance for Like Crazy on Jimmy Fallon. The performance was beautiful, and if you're interested in checking it out with me, it will be posted on Patreon tomorrow, so make sure you check that out. The dancers were amazing, and just a live vocals, everything was great. There's a limited $1 tier there if you're interested and I will link all that in the description. There was a bit of backlash with the dancing specifically. First off, people were notified before it was released that there would be a bit of touching in the dancing. Since this was Jimin we were talking about, people went crazy that there was even anyone touching Jimin and some of those dancers were women. One in particular woman named Julia posted the performance and the video on her Instagram. It got a lot of views and very quickly she noticed that she was receiving threats and vomit emojis all over her comments. I can imagine something like this being quite startling to wake up to and quite honestly she might not even know what went wrong. Like if she's not someone who is active in K-pop and understands the fandom, she might actually be scared and wonder why. If you're a veteran in K-pop or a K-pop idol, seeing death threats or vomit emojis is nothing new and usually doesn't result in anything. Like you won't lose your career, nothing happens. But for someone who doesn't know what's going on, scary. This news that she was getting threats just because she danced with Jimin and was touching him got big and armies on Twitter decided to spread her account to let everyone know that they should leave a positive and fun comments on her page and you can't really even see those mean comments anymore. I don't understand why people do this. She's a dancer and what's funny to me is that these people think that any girl that is around Jimin is someone who would be dating him or try to date him and so the idea of another woman close to Jimin seducing Jimin would cause for vomit emojis. So every woman's type is Jimin. Can a woman work with a successful handsome man and not be attracted to him? Is that not thing. I've worked with really attractive people before, but they're not who I would date. That idea makes no sense to me. And then also just in general, stop because what is the goal here? Jimin locks himself in his bathroom and never leaves the house or works with anyone. Is that what they want? Because then no one would ever see Jimin again because the only way we see him is through a screen. So if he feels like he can't make art for us anymore without someone getting hurt from it, then why would he continue to make art? I think Jimin does know and I think he is definitely upset and sad over that because as as we know from the first story I said, he loves his dancers and he would not approve of people attacking his dancers. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thanks to this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.